Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Marcia Scott, and I am the proud principal of Cedar Grove Middle School. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our rising sixth grade scholars. The purpose of this video is to present to you a virtual tour of Cedar Grove Middle School. Had it been a regular school year, you would have come over and taken a tour of our building. However, due to COVID, this is what we have now. But we will do it to the best of our ability. Rising sixth grade scholars, we are going to begin our tour right now. Welcome to Cedar Grove Middle School. Right now you are entering the front lobby. In the front lobby, we have our front office and Mrs. King, our front office administrative assistant, will be here to welcome you and to help you with anything that you may need. Also, we have our security desk. When you come in late, tardy, from a doctor's appointment or something, you would sign in at the security desk. Once you enter Cedar Grove Middle School, you will come in and go to breakfast in the cafeteria, or you will go to your classroom. So we're going to go to the sixth grade hallway, and during our tour, we will end up at the cafeteria. So follow me. Now, future saints, we are entering the sixth grade hall. As you see, here are your lockers on both sides of the hallway. So you will either have a top or bottom locker. Also, to help you get to your classes, we have the names by each of our teachers. So to help ensure that we have order on the hallway, you see that there is black tape on the floors. So if you're walking down, you're going to be on this side of the hallway. If you're coming up, you're going to be on the other side of the hallway. At this time, I'm going to take you into one of our classrooms. And this is one of our classrooms. In fact, this classroom is a social studies classroom. And all of your math, science, English, connections classroom will look just like this. As you know, you're used to your learning targets, you're used to your success criteria, opening, work period, closing, and you see all the information on the walls. Now, we are here at the sixth grade assistant principal's office. Our current assistant principal, his name is Mr. Jonathan Banks. He will be your sixth grade administrator. And for parents of our rising sixth grade scholars, we have our parent center. Uh, and Ms. Ford is the parent engagement facilitator in our parent center you are able to use computers you can check out materials for all subject matters including test preparation so this is open to you during the hours of school operation and this is our media center scholars you are welcome to come into the media center before school, after school, or sometime during lunch. Of course, we have a lot of books, but our media specialist, Miss Pete, she is able to assist you with checking out books virtually. This year, we had a virtual book club, and it is our goal to continue our virtual book club. Remember, I said that literacy is one of our goals. So please make sure you take time out to use our media center. Sixth grade scholars, when you transition
information from your academic classes, this is the way you will go to attend your connection classes. So follow me, rising sixth grade scholars. Now this hallway, we have math tools, we have reading tools, and we have our computer class. I'm just gonna walk in and show you our computer class. Scholars, if one of your classes is computer applications, this will be your classroom. Uh, Mr. Ogletree is the teacher of this class and it is very fun. So hopefully you will have, uh, you will have computer classes sometimes throughout your um, time here at Cedar Grove Middle School. Some additional connection courses you can take is Spanish and art. Our school creed is STARS, Cedar Grove Middle School Saints are safe, tolerant, accountable, respectful, and smart. Once you become a Cedar Grove Middle School Saint, you will learn the Cedar Grove Middle School creed. Scholars, another important part of being a Cedar Grove Middle School Saint is being mindful and stating positive affirmations. So you can come by this board and you can pull a card. I am determined to do my best. I will utilize my full potential. I am smart. And so this card says, I trust myself in making great decisions. And that's you. Scholars, this is Cedar Grove Middle School's gym. And just for you, it is brand new. This is where you will shoot some hoops, play volleyball, and have a lot of fun. Scholars, if you ride the school bus, you will enter through the back of the building. And so you're going to enter through the door. And from here, you're going to make your way either to breakfast or to your classroom. Scholars, we also have band, and the teacher's name is Mr. Scales. We also have chorus, and our chorus teacher is Ms. Tristan. This is Cedar Grove Middle School's cafeteria. You will come in here in the morning for breakfast, and also when you have lunch, you will come back to the cafeteria. And also, when we have programs, we also use our stage. Now I want to show you, uh, this is our counseling center, and your sixth grade counselor is Ms. Crane. Ms. Crane works closely with the uh, sixth grade assistant principal, and she is a good resource to help you out with your studies or if you're having some problems. So please remember, this is our counseling center. And if you become ill for some reason, maybe your stomach is hurting or you have a headache and you really need to go home, then you would come to our nurse's office. Rising sixth grade scholars, this is where our tour will conclude. I hope that you have enjoyed what you have seen on this virtual tour, and I wanna leave you with something. You are capable of more than you know, and I want you to come on the first day of school remembering that quote, and if you remember that quote, you will be okay. Again, I'm Dr. Marcia Scott, your proud principal, and I cannot wait to meet you. Thank you. We have a variety of clubs and organizations 
our football team, our basketball team, cheer, uh, Girls Who Code Club. We also have our band and our chorus, Beta Club. We do have FBLA. We also have student government. And our step team, they did a great job uh, before COVID. They uh, participated in a lot of um, competitions. So we're looking forward to possibly um, having our uh, step team again. Our scholars attend classes, um, seven classes per day. English, math, science, social studies, connections class, extended learning time, and health and PE. Well, the prom is really, it's a dance for our eighth grade scholars. Sixth graders are not able to participate in athletics, and that's just a county um, mandate. So sports right now, you would have to be an observer. No, you will have your own locker. Yes, the work in the classroom is challenging. And your homework will be uh, work that you will be able to do. You have to start day one with focusing in class, coming prepared, doing your very best, ask for help when you don't understand, and stay the course. Yes, you do have to write long passages. Um, and the purpose of that, scholars, you are, um, once you go through sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, then you're matriculating on to high school. Yes, you must write. It is very important. And you must read. Reading and writing go hand in hand. The focus of Cedar Grove Middle School is on literacy and mathematics. So, and writing is a big part of that. The teachers are nice, but the teachers are also stern. Counselors are nice, uh, the administrators are nice. However, uh, we can also be stern because this is about the business, education is important. Our food at Cedar Grove Middle School, in my opinion, is very good. I've been at some schools where it hasn't been too hot, but we have an awesome cafeteria staff. They cook with some soul. It comes from the heart. And Mr. Lattimore, who is the cafeteria manager, he ensures that we get good meals. So I believe that our school has good cafeteria food.